Uh, and in particular, I want to talk about using Twitter to understand how uh, word of mouth influence uh, spreads and, and, and uh, as Dave mentioned, uh, who is influential uh, and how you can actually take advantage of that in a, in a practical kind of way. So this is what we did uh, last summer. Uh, my research team, Eitan Bakshi, who's a, a, a graduate student at the University of Michigan and a uh, uh, summer intern last year at Yahoo Research, and uh, Jay Kaufman and, and Winter Mason, who are colleagues of mine at Yahoo. So uh, we took a three-month uh, or two-month interval uh, uh, where we uh, downloaded all the uh, public Twitter posts, so uh, millions of these posts, uh, and everyone who showed up somewhere on this active feed, we then crawled uh, uh, on the Twitter follower graph and, and crawled their followers as well. And so we have a, a sort of partial crawl of the graph that includes like everybody who ever tweeted or retweeted anything uh, and anyone who was following them uh, over that two month interval. So that's about 23 million individuals, uh, 1.5 billion uh, links between them. Uh, and uh, 230 million posts uh, that contained URLs. You know, as a marketer, what you would probably care about is how you can exploit these average effects most efficiently. And I, I read a story recently uh, in the New York Times uh, saying that, that you know, highly uh, uh, visible uh, 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 Twitterers like uh, Kim Kardashian get paid up to $10,000 a tweet. And right? so you can see, so this is sort of the, the, the standard intuition. She's very popular, lots of people know who she is. We should pay her a large amount of money or we should get her to tweet our products. The problem is Kim Kardashian knows that she's very popular and has lots of followers and so she charges lots of money uh, to do this. Uh, and uh, the question is, well, what's the relevant, you know, what's the actual number? What is she worth? Um, and so we actually have a, a very sort of simple way of trying to answer this question, which is to assume that you have a fixed budget and you pay per follower. The point is that you're paying a fixed cost per follower. Should you target a small number of very, very highly visible, highly influential individuals, or should you target a large number of ordinary uh, individuals with just a few followers? And the answer, which uh, surprised even us, uh, is that the, as you see, the left-hand side is much higher than the right-hand side. So the right-hand side is the Kim Kardashians of the world. The left-hand side are ordinary individuals who influence, on average, just one other person, right? So you have to target many, many more of them than you would uh, if, you, if you were able to get one of these extraordinary individuals on the right-hand side. But your actual return on investment is much, much higher, orders of magnitude higher. So this is sort of a... Uh, you know, really a consequence of this sort of fundamental property that most things don't spread very much on Twitter. Uh, and the thing is, and, and probably that's true of most, uh, not just on Twitter, but everywhere, most things don't spread very far. Uh, and so uh, rather than continually, uh, to, continuing to try to get the sort of, uh, you know, the sort of one miraculous event that, that, that uh, you know, for whatever mysterious reason uh, spreads um, uh, and, and goes viral, you want to take advantage of these sort of generally invisible little effects that, that become visible on a site like Twitter and hit those things many, many times.